Welcome to the AV42C Air-to-Air -air Missile Tutorial. Today, we will cover how to utilize short-range air-to-air missiles, specifically the AIM-9 Sidewinder and the IRIS-T. The AIM-9 Sidewinder is a standard short-range heat-seeking air-to-air missile that can be mounted on any of the four wing pylons in sets of one, two, or three missiles. The IRIS-T is an advanced, short-range heat-seeking air-to-air missile with advanced capabilities, improved maneuverability, range, and anti-countermeasure systems that can be mounted on any of the four wing pylons in sets of one, two, or three missiles. The difference between the two is that the IRIS-T has greater range, maneuverability, and anti-countermeasure capabilities thus the reason they cost significantly more to deploy. Seeing as how they are both deployed in the same manner, we will cover both weapons in this tutorial. However, I will be demonstrating with the less capable AIM-9 Sidewinders. First things first, verify that the master arm switch is in the on position and that the desired weapon is currently selected. Now we will notice a ringing or a growling sound indicating that the seeker is currently active. Next, line up the boresight with an enemy fighter. The missile is more likely to reach the target if we are engaging from behind the enemy aircraft as that is where the heat signature is the most prominent. Once we are lined up with the enemy fighter, the growling sound will raise in pitch and the lights on top of the instrument panel will light up. We are clear to fire the missile. Now we will cover other ways to utilize these weapons, including the different seeker modes such as uncaged, vertical scan, and head track, as well as how to utilize the trigger uncage mode. All of these features can be found on the equipment menu for both the AIM-9 and the IRIS-T. First up is the uncaged seeker mode, which simply circles the center of the HUD looking for heat signatures and latches on once it has detected a notable heat source. Next up is the vertical scan mode, which scans in a vertical line from the center of the HUD towards the top of the cockpit. And just like the uncaged seeker mode, it will latch on to any notable heat sources it detects. Finally we have the head track seeker mode, which, you've guessed it, follows your head movement. Similar to the cage seeker mode, head track mode does not latch on to heat signatures, so we will have to keep our eyes on the target before firing the missile. To remedy this behavior, we can utilize the trigger on cage mode, which, when enabled, allows us to manually choose when the seeker sticks to targets by holding the trigger, then firing a missile by pressing the weapon selector button while the trigger is being held. This is most useful for head track mode as we are no longer required to keep our eyes on the target, but it can be useful in other modes as well, such as the vertical scan mode seen here. Do note, however, that trigger uncaged mode does not function with the uncaged seeker mode. This concludes the AV-42C air-to-air -air missile tutorial. With a little bit of practice, you too can use the sidewinders to blast your friendlies out of the sky. Oh, wait a minute.